We're now going to talk about power functions. And a power function is, design, is defined as a function where f of x is equal to a times x to the n, and that's it. It's only a single term, and the rules here is that a has to be a non-zero real, and n has to be a positive integer or a counting number. And so if these conditions are true, then we have a power function. And the reason power functions are important is because of what they give us. So here's some examples of some power functions. And on the left we have even powered functions, and on the right we have odd powered functions. And I want you to notice in particular what happens with these power functions. So here's x squared, the blue one, x to the fourth is this red one, and x to the sixth is the green one. And notice that on the right side and the left side, where it reaches the end or the edge of our graphs, our power functions are up on both sides. They're the same. Whereas for our odd ones, so here's y equals x, here's our x cubed, here's our x to the fifth, and our x to the seventh. Notice that in every case, it starts high on the right side, but when it gets to the left side, it's low. And so these are our power functions. And in particular, these all have a leading number of one, which is where we usually deal with our power functions. But they give us the shape of the graph. That's the value of the power functions, is we know how the end behavior of the graph works.